Hello Libra, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Libra, welcome to June. This is your general reading for June of 2019. Thank you so very much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that this resonates with you. This is general, sun, moon and rising. So if this does not resonate, as I put up the remainder of June, please go check out your moon or your rising sign. Also, if you're not a subscriber just yet, please do consider subscribing. And then when you leave a comment down below um, on this or any and all of my videos from May, you will be entered into the May subscriber giveaway, which is a $100, $100 Amazon gift card. Um, and don't worry, don't fret. If you see this in June, I'll have one, I'm sure. So, you know, just... Kind of take a peek and see what I'm doing, okay, darlings? Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's go on and get into this reading. Now, uh, I'm using the Star Child Tarot, as well as we'll be using the Mystic Tarot um, to clarify, as well as the Isis Oracle at the very end to get some additional advice. Listen, Libra, overall energy... Um, I feel like you guys have been coming through some disappointments recently, Libra, perhaps, possibly, with that Three of Swords. Disappointments, heartache, it's just been a little bit tough. May was a tough month. It was tough, because we were going through such a purge. And being a Cancer, I get it, Libra, we're all about that relationship. So when we have to release relationships, it's not the best feeling in the world. We really don't like it. We do it, but we don't like it. Um, I feel like we're not done yet, Libra, though, with our tower moment. So there's a little bit more um, physical, third dimensional disappointment or, oh my goodness, I'm still going to have to let this go, right? But not for too long. Um, and this may be with the Six of Cups with family, people you consider family, perhaps your soul family. Um, someone's very close to you, okay? Uh, but do, Libra, have patience with temperance, and, um, you are going to end up with the Empress card understanding the new direction, and then becoming, you know, I know you guys get weirded out with the word impregnated, but literally the seed of your purpose being placed within you and it is and here this is very much you with the seed of truth and with balance and wielding wisdom so and then also having an overall awakening now that's going to feed directly into what we are talking about here for june so coming into this month, this is all about deep wisdom. This is all about ancient wisdom. This is the high priestess, dears. So this is all about deep and ancient wisdom. This is all about a, a spiritual awakening, like um, the overall energies just said. And um, that's what's coming towards you, hurtling towards you. That is a consistent theme amongst all of um, the collective, right? Uh, it is a consistent theme. Those who have, let those who have ears, let them hear. Um, a lot of these wisdoms with the four of pentacles, you're going to want to share with other people, but you're going to need to hold it to yourself because sometimes beloveds, we get, um, information and we want to like shout it from the rooftops immediately, but we're really not meant to. This is something brand new for you. This is a brand new adventure. This is an illumination, a culmination of a lot of the things that you've been hearing, a lot of the downloads you've been receiving over the last few months. The reason why people had to be moved out of your world, the reason why people had to be moved out of your life, all of this now comes together and finally you're beginning to see why. And finally you're beginning, beginning to be able to access that spirit uh, led information that you've been trying to access for so very long. And trust me, beloved is thrilled, okay? Um, because there's a, a leadership of the spirit, us being a triune being, right? Spirit, mind or soul and body, but spirit's supposed to be heading it because spirit can see eternally 
and infinitely. So I really feel like this there's Libra, there's a strong awakening coming in your sign in June, which is so appropriate because you guys kind of straddle the airness of a Gemini and the love and relationship and stability of a Cancer. So for this to be the month as Gemini is solidly in and then Cancer comes, you know, Gemini goes out and Cancer season comes in by the end of June, this is perfect for you guys. Now, what you're bringing to the table, you're full of hope here. Ace of Cups, new hope. You know what I love about this card I noticed as I was pulling it for you guys? Do you see that there's crystals coming, sprouting out of the cup? Remember guys, the tarot, right, goes in the order of manifestation. The tarot goes in the order of manifestation. The thought, the idea, the, the inspiration are the wands, the, the uh, I should say the inspiration is the ones, the thought, the speech, the culmination and the fine tuning of what we're going to be manifesting is the sword. Um, and then here we have the water with the cup. Yeah. The cup is the energy we put in motion, the emotion, and then the crystal or the pentacle is the actual physical manifestation of all of that, which we have utilized up until then as master manipulators of energy and frequency but do you see with this ace of cups what's sprouting out of here are brand spanking new crystals so new what sprouts from a renewed level of emotion and satisfaction um satisfaction with self satisfaction with the direction of where you're going uh, a realization of yes i can have this comes um a great manifestation a new manifestation, that Ace of Pentacles or Ace of Crystals. So I wanted to point that out to you. Yep. And so you're also, like, you're happy, right? You're bringing this energy of celebration to the mix as well. So um, with this deep wisdom, even though it's been sorrowful, even though you've been in a Three of Swords type energy, right? It's been sorrowful. Um, now you're seeing the reason why. And now you're saying, saying, okay, this was for my own good, right? Um, a little Virgo energy here with the Hermit. So again, this falls back onto this Four of Pentacles. Don't be so ready to put yourself out there again. Spend more time in meditation and um, in your own spiritual, you know, sacred practices. In your own, you know, as the church would say, in your own prayer closet. Spend a little more time there rather than... Um, you know seeking elsewhere outside these wisdoms that you get are not meant for you to just tell everybody and their mama keep some of it to yourself because a lot of this is really just pertaining to you and it's going to help you on your path and then you can help teach others what's potentially going to be a problem or an obstacle is the higher fund interesting I'm sorry, my shoulder is really hurting. And I'm going to put this, uh, uh, so it, I, what I'm seeing is, yeah, 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 here we go, the seven of wands. Sometimes we can hold on to a belief system, a set of uh, this, the edicts, um, a herd of sacred cows, if you will, that we are unwilling to let go of very traditional right the higher front wall it means faith it's also um in the rider weight right it's shown as like kind of this pope figure so very traditional belief systems yeah and taurus is a very traditional type sign that energy of i must follow tradition smacks in the face of the high priestess that's going and like well and the fool I cannot, you know, you don't be doing that. That's crazy. Don't, you, we in June, this is very important. And I'm saying this to every sign. It is a critically important that we release old ways of doing things and old ways of thinking about things and old ways of saying this is how it works because it's not going to work that way anymore. And this is a very... This is the most fertile month to be able to do that, beloved. 
what's going to help you is actually the oppression card, which is typically the devil card. Now, which is the devil card in the right or wait. How is that going to help you? Because everybody always says, oh, yeah, it's toxicity. Actually, it's not. Remember, light cannot exist without dark. Dark cannot exist without light. There has to be a balance. You cannot sit here and deny polarity and duality because it exists. It must to keep balance in the universe. Now, let go. You know what the devil card really also signifies is you need to let go. Yep. And here's the magician. In order for you to manifest that which your higher self, your high priestess, our high priest, your high priestess energy, that which your high priestess is bringing forward into you and revealing to you, in order for you to do that, you got to let go of all these old ways of thinking. That's why the oppression card, that, that energy, that energy there is actually going to help you release it because it's honestly oppressing you to hold on to the old way of doing things is actually bringing you down, Libra. It's bringing you down, holding on to old relationships, thinking there's still some redemptive story there for our, our, our anti-hero or Whomever in this grand story that you're, you know, you can, that has been playing out in your life. Oh my good Lord, here's the higher font again. Okay, I'm, you know, I can't even go no further with this then. You all, I mean, seriously, let it go and then start a new faith. Start a new, uh, 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 a spiritual norm. Start a new sacred practice. Start, get a new herd of sacred cows for Pete's sake, but get something new and stop holding on to the old. The old is not going to help you. You cannot keep on thinking that the, the time of yesteryear is going to be the time of tomorrow. I'm going to get off my soapbox. You know, when I'm recording this, this is actually in the morning before I had to work and I'm really too worked up to be doing all this right now. Okay, listen. Uh, the outcome or advice is Seven of Cups. So this could go either way for you. Either you could end this month in grand confusion because you refuse to let some things go, or you're going to end this month with wonderful choices, all of which are good. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new manifest to start. We have the Ace of, Sor Ace of Cups here. I told you. Remember? Ace of Pentacles. Manifestation. By the end of this month, I see fabulous things if you're willing and the wheel turning in your favor, wheel of fortune. I see fabulous things happening for you, Libra. But you have to be willing to fight for it with the five of wands. And let me tell you something, you're gonna have to fight yourself mainly. You're gonna have to fight yourself mainly. This isn't even gonna be outside influences. This is you. So, Libra, make the choice. The choice is up to you. You could either end this month with confusion or end this month with choices. Take your pick. But you gotta let go. You gotta finish the purge. And you have to do the self-purge now of old ways of doing things that no longer work. All right, let us pull for you an Isis oracle card okay libra now please don't forget again please like subscribe and comment when you comment you're going to get entered into my subscriber giveaway um for whatever month you're actually watching it um when you comment and subscribe um and also heartofinspiration.net that is my website you can schedule um a live reading do a recorded reading with me i think i'm gonna do one more for you um you can schedule Reiki treatments um, or energy healing sessions like cord cutting and whatnot or reading sessions. And I have a lot of inf information and um, schedules of when I'm going to be where and all that kind of good stuff. So please visit heartofinspiration.net if you wish to work with me. All right, here we go. we got two cards for you. One is the Divine Guardian, Protection of the Winged Mother. And then the second card is the Knot of Isis, energetic stabilization 
with the buckle of the beloved. Oh, that's so interesting. All right. Let's read them to you real quick. Thank you guys for hanging with me. I appreciate it. We're almost done, okay? Not very much longer. Divine Guardian, Protection of the Winged Mother. You are venturing through a time of significant spiritual growth and healing. Wow. There are many changes occurring internally, and they will be reflected in your external world also. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of the Winged Mother, Lady Isis. You can relax and allow your transformation to happen. Let your Divine Guardian protect you now as you learn to let go and trust in your own unfoldment of the, for the greatest good. Big spiritual growth can bring difficult challenges. Through such challenges, an initiate can gain wisdom, power, and awareness, and leave behind fears that once held them captive. Free from past restrictions, free to live a life that is truly extraordinary and inspirational. Yet the challenges can feel deeply confronting. The initiate may be tested to stay true to their own beliefs, even if their loved ones do not understand or support them, or they may be required to let go of what they have known to embrace something completely unfamiliar, and this may be uncomfortable for them, and they may fear losing love support safety or friendship as they venture into their new life. These kinds of spiritual growth opportunities are presented when the initiate is ready for them. And even though readiness might not seem obvious, the oracle of the divine guardian arises because you, the dear initiate of the light, are venturing into a significant time in your spiritual path. There is a process cooking within you which may be already mirrored in your outer life circumstances that are actually challenging you to grow, dear. It might look like an opportunity or it might appear as a crisis, but no matter what the appearance, you are being guided to take the risks that intuitively feel right for you and have faith. All right, now, the second one is the Knot of Isis, energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. This is beautiful, guys. And if you want more information on this knot of Isis, again, I'm using this Isis oracle. Each initiate has their own unique spiritual blue pit with, with particular skills, talents, and higher destinies unfolding that use their unique attributes. Part of your spiritual blueprint is a special relationship to the energies of the goddess. This means that not only do you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world, but you are afforded her power, protection, and abundance too. You are now deepening your connection to her. You are under the spiritual guidance and protection, again, of the Divine Feminine. Part of your high destiny this lifetime is to heal and flourish through the Divine Feminine in her many forms, especially in the, those forms that truly resonate and hold meaning for you. This healing will happen on your personal path and may well be part of the work that you offer in service to the world which may be simply how you live your life. We just talked about that, that you have to hold some of this to you, right? You got to get this done and get this in before you can give it to everybody else. Okay, Libra, I'm going to get off my soapbox, y'all. I got to get down off my box and go on and go to work. Guys, I'm going to leave this up here so you guys can just continue to look at that. I really appreciate you all being here with me, um, taking the time and watching this video. Again, please Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting. Feel free to share. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on one of my lives very soon. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.